good old frame one grenade pull. <laughs> There's man, I it's okay, and she's so playing Olimar. Oh. Oh no. Or maybe uh, not. Oh different different tag. Okay. Yeah, still playing Olimar. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well this match I can Almer being the good character is, although right now he still, I still believe the shield, the weird shield thing is still the. Yeah, it's still a thing. I don't think it's gonna get past till here comes out, which we have no idea when that is, so we'll, we'll see what happens. This is where Ben Knight's really good, just legendary. He has all those jumps, all those great aerials, and this is where Baby Cake probably gonna have a tough time on. Yeah, especially because Almer does not have a hitbox in his recovery. Does not, and if he throws on a move, he can't up B anymore, so unless he's right next to the stage, doesn't really have much of a choice. If the dash attack up B conversion will almost kill, look like Baby King is DI slightly in. Yep. You have to be really careful against Man Eye and Shield because he has that really quick frame uh, up B. This is frame one, but that's, that's inaccurate. Yeah, he has really good options out of Shield, though. And Jerry, when Man Eye wants to kill, he wants to go for down tilts. Because he can down tilt dash attack, oh, or down smash just like that. Calls out the air dodge, which charged down smash. He did a pivot down smash as well. Yeah, he was trying to catch. Just, I was trying to catch her, actually, but it was pretty, pretty cool. He, he, he caught just like at the right time. Just I guess he's trying to catch a drug player not. Yeah. Because that would have caught either or. And Baby Cake's abusing all of his super armor on that down B. I don't know what frame comes out on one. I'm not sure, honestly. It's really quick, though. Yeah, it comes out quick. It negates a lot of untrue un un strings. I'll say it's frame one or frame two. Okay, so I'm just going to punish AC for tornadoing. But once again, off stage, this is where it's really dangerous. Yep, we'll get the tornado uh. kill. It just hovers off stage. Those jumps. I can't tell if the tornado got better or worse between games. If what? That tornado got better or worse between games. Uh, it doesn't do as much for Sim, but it does kill a lot earlier. Oh yeah, it has a lot not bad to say the least. But it, does, it did also lose a lot of recovery purposes, because it doesn't really rise up too much. Mm -hmm. And if you hit the stage uh, at a wrong angle, it just kind of bounces you off. Thought you had the blue out there. I feel like in this game it's a lot better. Oh, no. There yeah. it is. Too close to the corner. Yep, get the ladder straight out. You need to mix up your DI versus the minute. Because even if you DI straight out, it is still a true combat level sense. In which you have to fix in and out. Hope the DI Mennonite messes up and gets the wrong hitbox. From my experience is, uh, fi with fighting against Mennonite as well, too, it's like it's hard to actually like, get out of. At that uh, like, at, like, like low to mid percent, at least, it's hard to get out of that, that up air string as well, too, because of, of the rage. Oh, yeah, no, that move, that crazy. string is really good. It doesn't, it's not used as often, it seems like. They kind of mix it up with, like, up air down air string. It's, it's a little hard to actually get in this game, I'd say. Yeah. They tried to nerf it a little bit, but, it's, yeah. Still a prominent Still factor very in good. game plan. It looked like Baby Cape was debating going back to Lucario, hovering back between the two characters, but we'll Sticking stick with the Elmar. Yeah. I respect it. Okay, I can see the battlefield pick. Almar doesn't isn't really known to have a tough time killing, and can live the combos a little bit early or better now on battlefield. Mm -hmm. Won't also get killed by the upper string that he that she got killed by earlier. But still, this this is still another this string might to watch be, out for. No, nope. we're good. Okay, Drift I was half expecting I was half expecting AC to go for like forward air or just neutral to be, or even an air. Okay. Oh, you don't want to do that. No, no, When no, you no, see no, no. people charging smash decks, just, just neutral get up. Just neutral 50, get up. 51%, by the way, before the hit, no rage. Full, that was a full charge. And Midnight's S smash is notoriously powerful. Mm -hmm. It's notorious in general, because it also has, like, no end lag either. Yeah, no, it has a, it has a decent amount of startup, but that end lag and that power, it just makes it something that you don't really want to challenge at it's all. very, very hard to punish. But yeah, very advised get up, and that causes her to lose stock. She's bringing it back a bit though. Okay, so we'll pass the for it again. I like it. Well, with the spacing AC was, if he had let it go a little bit earlier, it might have hit him. Oh, you both stuff won't take it. I'm surprised. Battlefield. Battlefield. Massive, <laughs> massive stage. Okay, that was interesting. Okay, oh, get caught up for trying to back air with all of purple up air. We'll steal the stock. Maybe Kate's bringing the stocks too even, but AC still. Showing to have a solid lead and just understanding how to fight this character. Not really approaching too hard, waiting for Baby Kids to throw something out and then the punching. That narrative seems to destroy Pikmin as well, too, very easily. Yeah, it's, it just throws the hitbox all around him, and it doesn't matter where the Pikmin is, if it's attached to it, it'll just kind of hit it. Okay. Tries to get the, the warp. I forgot that move's called. Which one? Oh, Dimensional Cape. Dimensional Cape, there it is. Okay. Oh, tries nice. to punish the spot up, but attack canceling, or spot up canceling is a factor. Okay. Oh, that almost took it. Wow. Does purple upper have a sour spot? I I felt like don't that should have think killed. so. 
But he was at like 70 or so. Okay. He's just going to take him in the back here. Baby kicks didn't punish it. Got eventually got caught by that move. is really good. It has a lot of kill power. Just for a multi hit, it is really strong. Oh, yeah. It was strong in Smash 4 as well, too. Mm -hmm. now, I don't know if they increased the hitbox size of it, but it seems like it might be, it seems like it's slightly bigger as well. The Smash 4 wasn't too big at all. But I feel like it's like slightly bigger. I don't know. Oh, okay. We'll uh, begin the ladder again. Oh, catch back up there. Be. Yep. Catching it, though. Okay, so just trying to go out on a ledge guard, not able to, to get it. But we'll still get them off stage, and this is really bad for baby cakes. Zinger can drop it at like, at like an, just avoiding AC's edge guarding in general. Okay, well, just getting around all of it. All but runs right in back to the dimension. Okay, this is once again ledge guarding. Oh, will that be it? The AC's ledge guarding is good, but his ledge trapping is also very good. So it's getting it back off stage every time. Yep, Olimar is having a tough time trying to get back. Oh, we'll That'll just do it catch though. a raw S smash on AC trying to up air, it looks like. I think so. Up air back here. Charging S smash again. Okay. He rolls past him, down smashes, and this is off stage again, and the back air will take it. That'll AC do it. 2 0. Swift 2 0 from AC right there. Yeah, Baby King's in a lot of trouble trying to recover back to ledge. That Men and I, multiple jumps and all the really good arrows, just proving a struggle for Olimar to even just get close to the ledge. She's doing a pretty good game too there. That was actually really